Hi, I'm David DeCespedes, maker of Manifest, a Notion productivity system. And today we're going to look at how to set up your favorites menu in Notion in order to make the most important pages accessible uh, through Notion's widget for iOS. If you use Manifest, these pages should be familiar, but even if you've built your own custom Notion workspace or dashboard, a lot of the pages referenced will probably be similar. So a quick note on why you'd potentially want to use Notion's iOS widget. As you probably know, productivity on a mobile device looks and feels a lot differently than on your desktop. With most Notion workspaces, Manifest included, they're definitely functional on the phone, but a lot of the ease of use and muscle memory don't work as sharply as if you're on a desktop with potentially multiple tabs or windows open at the same time. In the last iOS update, Notion released a set of widgets that you can add to, directly to your home screen, and you have the option to view a single Notion page, your favorite pages, or recent pages. Uh, in this video, we'll focus on favorites uh, to save key pages and views within those pages. So they're quickly accessible directly from your home screen. So if you're using Manifest, there's a few key areas that you probably want quick access to. Um, first being your workspace homepage, in this case, Manifest. So we'll close that out. Uh, the next is if we move a little bit further down in the workspace, um, the create mindset where you have tasks projects and areas um, would also make sense for quick access and review, specifically tasks, which we'll look at in this video. Um, the next section is uh, the reflect mindset. So having quick access to primarily days and weeks, if you're especially tracking habits or quickly logging um, things that you created or completed throughout the day. And the last section is uh, the capture mindset, which is quick access to your inbox um, if you're sorting things that you've collected from the internet or resources, as well as notes for jotting down quick ideas, as well as pages, maybe documents, scripts, uh, blog posts that you're currently working on. You may use some of these or maybe uh, not need access to all of them, but we'll walk through a few primarily um, tasks, how to set that up, as well as the days database. Um, but you'll wanna see what makes most sense based on your workflow to determine uh, what you wanna have uh, visible on your phone's home screen. So the first page we're gonna to add to our favorites is tasks. You probably access tasks uh, from a particular project or from a specific page on uh, Notion for your desktop workspace, but on the phone, it likely makes sense to sort tasks by either highest priority or due dates. So if we open up our tasks database, if we hover over the left menu here, we'll notice that there's only one page currently in our favorites, which is our homepage. So we're gonna add the tasks database. One thing I would definitely recommend is um, creating a new view and calling it mobile. So if we open this up, and um, it's up to us in, in terms of how you want this to be visible. But if we set gallery and so that we have these cards and then there's a few things we probably want to edit before we save it to favorites. So number one, we'll make these smaller, a um, bit more compact. And then we can toggle on specific properties that you'd wanna see um, on from your phone. So. We can put time priority, um, the associated project if it has one, and a quick done checkbox, um, which will be useful if we're on a phone. And we'll keep it at that. And then the other key thing we want to edit, especially from accessing this from the widget, is sorting. And so in this case, we can sort based on a few different properties. For this example, we'll, we'll sort by the time and priority. So if we notice this sorts all of our active tasks based on moving from highest priority to uh, lowest priority. So once we have that set up, we're going to favorite this. And if we move back into the sidebar, 
um, you'll notice that it adds it automatically to the top. So we'll just drag this to the second place. And now we have these two favorites. One thing you do want to check for is uh, when you open up the views menu, uh, by sliding the mobile up, this becomes the default view for this database. So we know that when we open it up, uh, we'll see these cards formatted um, based on the properties that you selected and the sorting that you set up. Another useful shortcut will be if we go back into our dashboard, um, if you're tracking habits on a daily or weekly basis and want to quickly open up um, the particular page for today or for this week, um, adding in this uh, days or weeks databases would be helpful, especially on the phone. So if we open up days, um, you notice that this isn't quite in any particular order. So what we're gonna do is same thing. We're gonna set up a new view, make it the default view. Uh, we're gonna call this mobile and try to give this one a list. And similar to tasks, um, if you're using days to track habits, it definitely makes sense to sort um, by date. And we can set it up so that the most recent day shows up first in this database. So once we have that set up, we know that the most recent date shows up at the top. We have mobile, I'm gonna slide this up to the top view. And when we favorite it, we'll see that it shows up on the left side. And then we're gonna drag this to the third spot in our favorites. So we've seen what this looks like on the desktop. Now we're going to take a look at setting up your Notion widget on iOS. From the home screen, hard pressing anywhere will bring up the edit functions and we'll tap on that add widget at the top left. And from here, we're gonna scroll until we get to the Notion widget, it should be somewhere in your list. And once you tap there, you're gonna get a few options from a large shortcut to um, recent pages to favorites. And we're gonna use the larger um, favorites widget, which will give you not the first nine favorites in your workspace. And from there, it's pretty much just um, tapping and holding and then uh, finding a place for your widget on your home screen. And that's pretty much it. In this case, um, my workspace has set up uh, nine favorites, including projects, areas, as well as inbox notes and pages. Um, and each of these are using the same model as was covered earlier in the video in terms of really setting up the view that makes the most sense for accessing these pages from your phone. So that's just a quick overview on uh, how the Notion widgets work and how you can kind of customize these manifest pages to fit a mobile view. And um, I'm also gonna be working on a blog post that walks through these additional pages and customizations that probably make sense for those as well. And that's pretty much it. Hope you find this useful and see you in the next video.